best proposal that we ought to have because it's flatter, it's fair, it's finite, it's family friendly. And instead, what we've done is what Senator McCain has suggested. We've had a Congress that spent money like John Edwards at a beauty shop. <laughs> Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee surprised the country when his dark horse presidential campaign won eight states. Now in his new book, Do the Right Thing, his, he reflects on his campaign and looks at the future of the Republican Party. Please welcome Governor Mike Huckabee. <laughs> Good to see you, Good to see you, too. To have you Governor. You were nice. You, you actually had me on your show on the Fox News you Channel. You were the very first guest I ever had, and yeah. that's the reason the show's doing well. Yeah. That's right. And well, by the way, Whoopi has promised that she's going to come do the yeah. show, as yes. is Joy and Sherry. So sooner or later, I'm going to leave the entire cast Absolutely. of The View. But Whoopi has promised she would come and sing with the Little Rockers. When now, you know that oh. you're about to get hit by some lightning. <laughs> I said I would come. He said, you're going to say. That's a promise to this man. It's a promise. You, on your show, you talk about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. One of the topics that's come up there um, is the division in the Republican Party. Right. And you think that there are def definitely some things going on. I mean, they, they lost 19 seats in the House, six in the Senate, and the presidency in this past election. What do you think, what's the problem, and then how do you see it being fixed in time for the next round? Well, the problem is, is the Democrats got more votes than we did, and uh, that always <laughs> results in a bad yeah. year. That's what happens. Yeah, it does. But I think the real... The, the real problem is that the Republicans quit acting like Republicans. Mm. When Republicans used to stick to their stuff, it was about balancing budgets, mm -hmm. uh, cutting spending, recognizing that the free market grows best when you lower the tax rates. And when Republicans quit really adhering to those things and giving re uh, reasons for people to support them, and they supported government bailouts. Yeah, which you don't. I do not. Absolutely Why? not. Because, Please. first of all, I think it's unconstitutional for using taxpayer money to bail out private sector industries. Mm -hmm. What happens in the government becomes... <laughs> yeah, well, the government at that point is picking out who, who lives and who dies within the marketplace. Mm -hmm. That's not the government's role, any more than it's the government's role to decide that your show is going to do better than somebody else's show. That's the market. Saving one but versus it wasn't the other. just that. It also was the Sarah Palin factor. A lot of people turned on the Republicans when she was on the ticket. I don't know if you did. No, I didn't at all. And, and in fact, I think that, that she brought a lot of energy to the ticket early on, and it was yeah. helpful to kind of uh, bring the base together she to has say a that. Fan here, I see. <laughs> probably the same number of fans that I have in this audience. I mean, who knows? No, that's but, uh, we like oh. you. You're our favorite Republican. Thank you. Yeah, and even and even yeah, but really, I told Elizabeth I'm going to stand by my work. I told her that I said backstage, you, I would have voted for you. I just, I liked you. I said at the same and said I always liked my cover, but you lost, so. <laughs> and, and by the way, thanks for reminding me. I, I really. But you know what? In your book, you said that it's never a good time to elect a Democratic president, and it would be disastrous to elect one in 2008. So now we have Barack Obama as our president. Are you still feeling the same way? Well, I always think that Republicans ultimately, if they do what they suppo are supposed to do, will do better because they'll lower tax rates and also they'll stand for things that I think are important. However, let me be very clear. I said this on my show right after the election. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama was not my choice, but he's going to be my president. Mm -hmm. I will pray for him to be successful. I want him to be successful. Mm -hmm. And it is not lost on me. No, it, it is very true. The United States has an election. When the election is over, we abide by the results, and we need to support the person who was elected, whether he was our choice or not. It is not lost on me, as a kid having grown up in the Deep South, that this is a magnificent moment in our nation's history. And I am deeply proud of the country that it looked past race this year, mm -hmm. and it elected somebody, not because he was or in spite of, but with indifference to his color. And I think that all Americans, Republican, Democrat, left, right, can be very proud that our nation has, in fact, moved forward. And, yes, and, and that's a yeah. great moment. I remember segregation as a kid. Mm -hmm. I remember the horror of it. I remember the separate uh, water fountains and entrances mm -hmm. and theater uh, seats and doctor office waiting rooms. And it's repulsive, and it's, it's an evil part of our nation's history, mm -hmm. something that I hope all of us will never forget but never repeat. Mm -hmm. And for us to stand there that day and to see Barack Obama take the stage to realize 50 years ago he could at best serve coffee in the White House and now he will be the resident of the White House. You, you, we have to take some pride yeah. in that as Americans. You're very, very, um, you're very passionate about that, I, I say. Very passionate. But do you feel that way about gay rights too? It's a different uh, set of rights. I think uh, people who are homosexual should have every right yes. in terms of 
their civil rights to be employed, to do anything they want. Mm -hmm. But that's not really the issue. I, I know you guys talked about it. I, I think you kind of got into it a little bit here early on. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about a redefinition of an institution, that's different than individual civil rights. And, you know, I, 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 we're never going to convince each other. Uh, well, segregation was an institution, too, in a way. You know, it was, it was right there in the books. I, I but just don't but here's I the difference. Bull Connor was hosing people down in the streets of Alabama. You had John Lewis getting his skull cracked on the bridges of Selma. Uh, look, it's that's wrong. Gay bashing, gay bashing goes on, too. But there's, there's Christian bashing. Look at what happened to the lady out in California the other day. And she's out there, she's 69 well, years old, she was holding, holding a cross, a cross and mm -hmm. people come up. Violence is wrong. It doesn't matter who's behind True. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But let us not forget that one of the things that's happened in Arkansas, and I want to ask you about yeah. it, is the, is the law that just passed that stops unmarried couples from becoming foster or adoptive parents. Now, this man, a lot of people feel this ban is targeting gay folks. Is it? No, I think what it really does is try to affirm that the best environment for a child at all possible it's when you have both a father and mother figure in that home and that's the ideal that's how the next generation is created and it's the best thing we can do to train the next generation to be our replacements well, let me ask you because it, it there are so many instances where straight couples who should be the ideal mm -hmm. uh, torture and hurt these children and there's a lot of children on the books I mean it would be an interesting thing Mike I think if we all said you know what we're gonna do in New York we're gonna say unless you can get all the foster kids and all the kids who need to be adopted adopted no one else can have another ba damn baby <laughs> until we take care of all the children that are needed but you've what's happened is effectively this has been cut off and a lot of kids who would have been adopted and put into foster and care. And doesn't it apply to straight I, people too? Too? Well, yeah, it I mean, to it would yeah, apply to anybody. Parenting. The point is that you have. We, yeah. We're going to hang out with you some oh, more because we love having we're the right. conversation yeah. with you, Governor. We're glad you are here. Everyone in our audience is getting a copy of Do the Right Thing, and you can catch up to be Saturday.